Okay, uh, I'm going to do another tutorial really fast, and this is for um, exporting the Cinti characters into Blender to remove the body so you can have the arms for first person. Um, again, Robert covers that in the SGKV2 uh, video that I posted in TC Mabe's Discord uh, Cinti channel that he created. It's called Cinti Solutions. And so you can look there. Um, but he uses uh, um, 3ds Max, and I'm going to be using Blender. I posted documentation in there that's a pretty step by step, easy way to follow it. But uh, for me, I'm a visual learner. I'm a visual learner. I couldn't find any uh, videos on how to do it, so I'm just going to make one really quick. All right, enough talk. So what we're going to do? <clears throat> you're going to go to your mesh. You're going to find your character. It's right here. Right click. Asset actions. You're going to export. Uh, you can create whatever folder that you want to. Um, I already created one, I believe, called Cinti Arms. And then I put it in there. You just save it. And it will uh, <clears throat> it'll bring that up for you. And that's where it'll be. Then we're going to go into I'm gonna load up blender really fast you just click off of this uh, hit delete now when I first got into blender I was like oh well the controls are probably the same as the unreal engine well they're not okay so uh, in here <laughs> you're gonna press in the mouse button and that's how you're gonna navigate but first we're gonna go up here to file and we're gonna go to import FBX and we'll go to the location, obviously, where we put that. And we're going to click on it and hit import. And when you're in here, uh, to navigate, you're going to press in the middle mouse button. And that'll turn you. You want to get him front facing. And then you can use the scroll wheel in the middle to zoom in. You can also hold shift and middle mouse button, and that'll move you up and down. We're just going to bring him in here. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to go over here, go here, and we're going to find this right here, which is just the mesh, and we're going to click on that. You can see the bones are not selected, just the mesh. You have just the mesh selected, object mode. We're going to go to edit. Now, yours probably won't be like this. If it's not, go up here, and you can hit um, 3D right there. Yeah, click on this right here. This is the x-ray, and you can see... Um, through the mesh. Let's get him face forward, front facing. <clears throat> now, when you have it like this, uh, you can basically uh, hold down the the first mouse button, and you can drag it around where you want it. And you can see this is the part you want to be deselected right here. And you can mess with this. You can see it's kind of hanging over. You can try to get it um, as close as possible. That's pretty good. Uh, that's good enough. But something like that, you get the idea. You can get it as, as um, close as possible. And when you get that done, you're going to hit X and go to Faces. Click Faces, and it's going to remove the body. All right, now that it's removed the body, we're going to right-click, and we're going to drag it over and select all the let's see yeah we're gonna right click oh first of all okay um, once you have that done we're gonna leave edit mode go back to object mode then we're gonna right click and then you'll select you'll see you selected the skeletons and you selected the arms that we just did now we're gonna go back to file we're gonna go to export go down to FBX again, and you're going to see these options. You need to name it. Right here, you'll just click on this, and you'll name it whatever you want to name it. Put it wherever you want to. I've already done that. And over here, you want to make sure um, some, of the, some of these options are selected. So you want to, right here, limit to. Let's just uh, let's name it. It's not going to let me do anything. 
Um, the BX. I need to say arms dot f bx and we'll just hit enter now you can select uh, after you name it name it where you want it to go select objects selected objects and you'll see object types you want to shift and go armature okay all of them are selected so you deselect all those and make sure that you just have armature and mesh selected then under transform, uh, right here in forward, you want it to say um, X forward. So it would be X forward. And you want to go Z up instead of Y up. Okay, apply unit. You can untick this, use space transform. Um, down here with... Uh, geometry you want to make sure that's selected to face and then we've got one more all, apply all modifiers and then in the armature you want to make sure it says y axis x axis axis and null okay and then bake animation when you have that done now you can hit export right. and we can close out of here <clears throat> Go back to our Unreal Engine project, and uh, what we're going to do in here is we're going to right click, or hold on, what we're going to do in here is we're going to go to import, and you'll go to where you save the arms, and you see this is our uh, arms open up and when it brings up this it should already have your skeleton in here you can select it there select all these all these at defaults except for down here where it says create new materials you don't need that because it already has it so do not create materials and you're going to uncheck import textures you're done with that import all here they are and now you have your first person arms and now you can set them up with your character all right.